I've been wanting to smell contradiction by Calvin Klein for ages and I was very happy that I managed to find on eBay a um, lovely little sample of it. So this is the contradiction for women. It comes in this weird but kind of fabulous bottle. Um, I love the color of the juice. It's like, I think that whole metal bit is the lid, which is crazy, but I also kind of love it because I do tend to, I like the kind of design forward vibe that a lot of Calvin Klein bottles have. I think that sometimes they're really unusual and super cool, but you know, it's just kind of my vibe, you know, <laughs> that kind of slightly, I don't know, industrial look that you get with some of them. But anyway, about the actual perfume. So I've been looking forward to trying this one for quite a while and I have to say I think it's really, really nice. Um, smelling it on my fingers at the moment, it's an it's kind of interesting while also reminding me of quite a few things I already have. So, I mean, full disclosure, I do not need a bottle of this. I'm very happy to have this sample and I might like give it a full wear test every now and again. But um, I... I sort of want a bottle, but I don't need a bottle. That's how I'm feeling about this currently. So the notes in this are top notes of lily, peony, lily of the valley, orchid, rose, false jasmine. Middle notes are eucalyptus, lilac, jasmine, and blackberry. Base notes are sandalwood, musk, and tonka bean. Now, this isn't overly sweet, but it has a beautiful sweetness to it. It's almost another one of those that has a little bit of a body care vibe to it, almost like some kind of body lotion. But there is a freshness from the eucalyptus without it smelling kind of medicinal or menthol, you know, like. The, the votes here have eucalyptus at the top, and I'm not entirely sure I'd agree with that, followed by lily, sandalwood, and then peony. And then you go down to the lilac, musk and tonka bean. So personally, I would have the lily and the sandalwood at the top, followed by the musk. Um, then I'd have eucalyptus, peony and sandalwood. I don't personally get a huge amount of lilac from this, but I think it's probably making it kind of a little bit um, more lighter, airy, something kind of it's not quite fluffy, but it's it's much more kind of gentle and feminine when it dries down than I'd imagined. Now, when I first got this, what I could recognize is that somewhere in this towards the base, I think it's probably the musk and tonka bean with the sandalwood. It made me think of oxygen by Lonvin. It just gave me a little bit of that kind of vibe and that kind of the vibe I get with Noah. This is not as sweet, it's fresher, it's more floral for sure, but it has that same kind of creamy bar soapy musk going on in here, which I think is very, very pretty. And I do really like this one. I think it's really, really nice. If you like the sound of a kind of a slightly bright sandalwoody sweet lily perfume then I think this is this might really be up your street I think it's the perfect balance between like a kind of sweet body lotiony smell and a fresh floral smell with just that little kind of zingy bit from the from the eucalyptus you know um really so pretty i think at first it smells really unisex and then as it dries down it gets a little bit more feminine however definitely anyone could wear this i think this would i think this is a classic ck um perfume in that you i think you could definitely market this as unisex and it would be fine there is actually a male version of this but i mean i just this is really pretty i really like this one um I'm going to have to resist buying a bottle because I know I don't need it and I wouldn't necessarily reach for it over oxygen if I'm feeling this kind of thing. But at the same time, I think it's lovely. It kind of reminds me of something else I've got as well, which I can't bring to mind right now. But at some point, I might actually just wear this and you'll see it in my What I Wore less last week and I can talk to you about all the different things that it kind of gives me a vibe of. But yeah, I mean, this is definitely full bottle worthy. I'm trying not to buy a ridiculous amount of perfumes right now. So um, maybe if I see a miniature, maybe if I see a little miniature of this, because then I can have this cool bottle as well. Maybe I'll be tempted to get a little miniature. But for now, this beautiful long and thin um, 
sample is is going to see me through i think it's a really cool perfume i do like a bit of calvin klein i think they make really underrated stuff <laughs>